As a talented young tennis player, Arthur Ashe wasn't allowed to play tennis on most tennis courts in Richmond, Virginia due to Jim Crow laws. His internal drive to get better at tennis, and more importantly, make the world a better place would be realized. He did become the world's top ranked player, but to Arthur, even at a young age, what was most important was helping others. Arthur battled prejudice and adversity in becoming a top national junior tennis player and did receive a scholarship to UCLA. He won the team and singles NCAA championship in 1965 before graduating. Arthur's devotion to team would show up again soon. With the U.S. Open singles title to his name, Arthur was a rising star in the ranks of tennis. Upon learning that South Africa wouldn't grant him a visa to play in their inaugural South African Open, he applied his maximum effort in campaigning the U.S. government and world to do something about the apartheid regime. He continued entering the tournament in 1970 and 71, being denied each time. Ash was finally able to play the tournament in 1972, where he did reach the finals. When Nelson Mandela was released from his 24-year prison sentence, he was asked what American he most wanted to meet. His answer, Arthur Ashe. A heart attack forced Arthur's retirement in 1978. His career ended with three Grand Slam titles and a high ranking of number one in the world. He had a storied career as a U.S. Davis Cup player and then served as captain. 1992, Arthur announced he had contracted HIV due to a blood transfusion. Arthur tirelessly worked to defeat AIDS through his life, particularly providing care to people in inner city areas. In 1993, at the age of 49, Arthur passed away from complications of AIDS. Arthur Ashe started breaking barriers as a young child playing tennis tournaments and used every ounce of his fame and accomplishment to try to make the world a better place. Sometimes we wait to confront conflict while we're in comfort. Arthur found injustice and ran to it head on. He couldn't fathom it any other way. We should all try and think about Arthur more often and try to live life as he did. Each day work to improve the lives of those around us. This will give us something much more powerful to celebrate on his tennis court every September.